Hola estudiantes, it's Mrs. Santiago here, and today we're going to be looking at the verb poder and a few of its friends that are similar. We're going to do this by using a PACE lesson. Remember the acronym P-A-C-A-E. I'm going to present the verb in context to you. You're going to pay attention to the form. Then we will co-construct the setup of this verb, and then we will extend our learning with some practice. Let's get started. So looking at the verb in context, yo no puedo hablar por teléfono en la clase. Hmm, what do you think that means? Think about what does it mean in English and really watch that verb in green, verde, and see how it's changing. Yo no puedo hablar por teléfono en la clase. ¿Tú puedes nadar en el verano? Hmm. Piensa. ¿Tú puedes nadar en el verano? Mi amigo puede sacar la basura. Watch the green verb, puede. Mi amigo puede sacar la basura. Mi familia y yo podemos ir en vacación. Mi amigo y yo podemos ir en vacación. Juan y María pueden lavar los platos. Juan y María pueden lavar los platos. So the verb poder. Let's look at it together now. Yo no puedo hablar por teléfono celular en la escuela. Tú puedes nadar en el verano. Mi amigo puede sacar la basura. Mi familia y yo podemos ir en vacación. And María y Juan pueden lavar los platos. I think it'll be easier for you looking at the verb here and seeing the full infinitive verb at the top. Think about what type of verb is it? Look at the end of it. How would we categorize it? Once we chop, what happens to the stem? Hmm. If you look carefully and notice and make some observations, you should have noticed that something is happening to that stem. That stem is going from P-O-D to P-U-E-D. So the O is changing to a U-E. It's an O to U-E stem changing verb. If you look at the nosotros form, there is no stem change. When this pattern occurs, it's called a boot verb. We kick out the nosotros form. Let's take a look at poder. To be able to. I hope you figured that out. If we back up and look at those sentences, does that make sense? Yo no puedo hablar. I can't talk on the phone. Tú puedes nadar. Are you able to swim? Mi amigo puede sacar. My friend can or is able to. Mi familia y yo podemos ir. My family and I can go on vacation. Juan y María pueden lavar los platos. Juan and María are able to. Hmm, good. I think it works. Let's look at poder again, to be able to. If we looked at it, what we just looked at in the chart, it would look like this. And if we drew the footwear around it, we would notice that poder is changing everywhere except nosotros, where it has been kicked out. We're going to chart that one in just a minute. Now let's look at some more stem changing verbs that are similar. Let's look at dormir. Yo duermo en la cama de mi dormitorio. Mi padre duerme en el sillón frente del televisor. 
Mis hermanos duermen tarde el domingo. Nosotros dormimos en el hotel. Tú duermes en el sofá. Now, I've already told you that it's similar to poder, so you should be noticing that the O changes to UE everywhere except nosotros. In the nosotros form, it stays the same as the original infinitive verb. So again, this one, dormir, is an O to you stem changer as well, and the nosotros form is kicked out, which makes it a boot verb. Almorzar, to eat lunch. Yo almuerzo con mis amigos. Mis padres almuerzan en su trabajo. Tú almuerzas en la mesa en el patio de la cafetería. Nosol nosotros almorzamos a las once y media. Señora Laraba almuerza en el restaurante. Again, let's look at that stem and see how is it changing from the infinitive verb to the conjugations. You should have noticed again that same change. Okay, the O in almors went to almuerz, U-E, so O to U-E. Except in the nosotros form, we went back to the original L-A-M-O-R-Z. So again, this is an O to U -C E stem changer, and it is also a boot verb. So that was a quick look at the stem changing verbs that follow the same pattern, poder and a few other O to U E stem changers. Gracias.